All right. Well, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to the New School Baseball Podcast, Episode 6. My name is Iggy, and of course, uh, you are listening to the New School Baseball Podcast. Today, we talk about Tim Anderson, Brad Keller, a little bit of a Donnybrook, and my opinions on bat flips. But first, I want to dive into a quick little thing. Not a sponsor by any means, just really good people over at Zero K Wood Bats. Um, I've been in contact with uh, a gentleman, uh, Martin Dubé. Uh, pardon me if that's not correct in the pronunciation. It's a company based on Quebec. I'm assuming it's a French name. And I'm a terrible Canadian and I don't speak very much French, only enough to get by. Uh, a little bit about Zero K Wood Bats. Uh, they are a specialized bat making company. They only work through certain times of the year. Uh, that way they keep their costs as low as possible and that way they keep the price as low as possible because they believe that the price of bats and quality bats at that is w- overly way exaggerated overall way 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 too high it's 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 ridiculous um, I've been talking with uh, with Martin uh, I got a couple bats that he uh, sent over to me so I'll be doing a quick little review on those after. Uh, but right now, uh, there's a huge sale on bats right now. Uh, if you go to 0kbats.com and at checkout you enter code EASTER15, uh, you will get 15% off your entire purchase. I personally have the K110 in a 32 and the K271 in a 33. Both of those are yellow birch bats. I highly recommend you check them out. They're great. Uh, I'll be doing a video uh, about the bats I have. Uh, expect that for next week. Until then, though, guys, I really hope you do enjoy this conversation we're about to have about Tim Anderson, Brad Keller, the Chicago White Sox, the Kansas City Royals, bat flips, all that, a lot more. We get a little bit of a Joe West conversation in there as well, too. I love Joe West as much as I love any umpire. Keep it locked right here, right now. The podcast starts right now. Let's go! Alright, so let's just jump right into it. Um, We're going to talk about Tim Anderson and Brad Keller. Uh, For those of you who didn't see from, I believe it was two days ago, that would have been Wednesday, um... What happened, Tim Anderson in the third, White Sox are down by two to the Royals, Tim Anderson hits a, just an absolute rocket, two run, no doubt about it, home run, and he turns to his dugout, and he hucks his bat, just a, just an insane kind of emotional bat flip, it does appear that he does say something to the catcher, uh, the Kansas City catcher. And uh, he takes his, his bit around the bases and, you know, whatever. And uh, as he comes around, he has some words with the, the catcher at the home plate. He, whatever, goes to the dugout, fine. Uh, game's tied up. Or they might be down by one at this point. Might be 3-2 for, for the Royals. Brad Keller, the pitcher who gave up the home run, is now uh, is still in the game. Tim Anderson's back up again to bat. And Keller plunks Anderson, you know, right where you expect it, kind of right in the hip, ash cheek area, below the belt. But first pitch, totally deliberate. And, of course, Anderson's a little bit peeved at that. And then all of a sudden, he's being restrained. Is he, he goes to first, whatever. That's all good to go. And then the managers start getting involved into it after. Like, bench is cleared, all that. Bullpen's cleared. But... We've we've seen the song and dance before. No no real shots thrown or anything like that. And then a lot of pushing and shoving. Then coaches start yelling at each other. A lot more pushing and shoving, and and life goes on. Um, a lot of the old heads in baseball say, well, yeah, Tim Anderson deserves it. He showed up his his opponent, and that's fair. But I feel like that's the way baseball is going. Like, it's a new era of, of baseball and bat flips, right? Like we we don't say anything, and I like I I I'm I'm a catcher. If my pitchers are showing emotion, if they got the stuff and their fist pump and they're screaming, they're yelling uh, on their way off the off the mound after a big strikeout, 
I don't care if I'm a, if I'm a batter and I get just dummied up. Let's say it was you know fastball, I foul off. Uh, he misses one outside, one one. Comes back in with a fastball high, and I cut on a miss, and then he burns me with a curveball. Uh, and you know I just look stupid on the swing, and that was you know a, a big at bat. Let's say I had a runner in scoring position, um, and and the opposing pitcher was like woo, you know, and just like having a time of his life, you know, fist pumps or wherever. Would I be upset? No, because that's fucking baseball. It's an emotional game sometimes, and that and more and more now where everyone's getting better, especially in the majors, you have the strongest arms throwing to the people that are hitting the highest percentage of baseballs ever. Um, so on, on, on that uh, uh, that aspect, there I mean, look at Marcus Stroman, for example. Hop, skipping, and jumping, and leaping, and you know, fist pumping, shimmy, and shaking, whatever he wants to do, that's that's a okay. Uh, and I can almost guarantee if you ask Marcus Strowman if if someone hits an absolute rocket off of him, an absolute no doubt about a home run, he's not gonna be pissed off for the fact that you know they they might flip a bat, like that, like have 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 the common self awareness, right, like. If I'm going to one-up a guy, I'm going to be ready for a guy to one-up me real quick, right? And that's just the way it goes. And I, I feel like that fuels a little bit more of the competition, you know? It gets guys fired up on your side. It gets their guys fired up. They start playing better. You're, you, you've you got the momentum. You're playing better. And it leads to better baseball, I, I personally think. is So for the fact for Keller to plunk him like that, kind of just uncalled for, really. Especially... If I'm remembering correctly, I believe the can. No, sorry, it was tied up. It was tied up two two, and Keller plunks him to put him on base as a go ahead run, um, with none out. So and and Tim Anderson's a really big base stealing, stealing threat. Like I could have guaranteed on that first or second pitch of, if, if the following events that I haven't talked about didn't happen yet, he would have stolen second for sure. But as I alluded to, after all the the hoopla, as it were, after the 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 Donnie Brook that never happened. Um, uh, umpires get together, uh, discussions had, Keller gets ejected, and then after everything kind of calms down again, uh, Joe West comes out and tosses Tim Anderson. For what? I don't really know. Uh, it might have been what was said, uh, via, you know, derogatory sl- terms that were, were thrown about, and, you know, or or homophobic terms sometimes get tossed around in in the heat of uh, uh of that those kinds of situations. It's, it doesn't make it right by any means. I I don't agree with it. But as a guy who's played a, a fair bit of baseball in his life and other sports as well, uh, unfortunately there are instances where where stuff is said that's hateful, uh, and I don't think it means that person is a hateful person. I think they the the emotions run so high in it sometimes that it does you you lose the filter right of what's okay to say and what's not okay to say i've seen some of the nicest guys in the world you know on a on a situation that might have been dangerous for one of their teammates come off the bench cursing someone up down left right and sideways saying a bunch of stuff that I, they would never wish on anybody in the world but at the in the heat of the moment and the passion that filter just you know is gone and they they let it fly all that pent up whatever and and uh and i i've, I've known those guys uh, for the longest time i I've, I've seen them you know uh do great work with you know groups of people or um i'm not trying to sp- specifically say anything that might offend anybody but there's um you know th- there's a lot of stuff that might come out that people don't necessarily agree with saying and when it's all said and done, they shake their head and they go, oh, "Man, I was an idiot. Like I shouldn't have said what I said." But you know, fuck that guy. And <laughs> unfortunately, uh, I, I believe that was the case on 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 Tim Anderson's terms. Maybe he said something that could have been uh, could have been uh, taken very very poorly uh, in the eyes of the umpires, which in that case would lead to an injection, which would also explain why MLB. 
uh, Major League Baseball and the, the Office of the Commissioner have issued a suspension to Tim Anderson and Brad Keller. Uh, Tim Anderson uh, receives a one-game suspension uh, and an undisclosed fine. Uh, the suspensions are subject to appeal. Uh, Brad Keller got the worst of this, and he received a five-game ban and an undisclosed fine. Um, also, the right, White Sox manager, Rick Renteria, received a one-game suspension and an undisclosed fine for aggressive actions during the incident. Renteria was served suspension tonight uh, when you're watching the podcast Friday night and when the White Sox face the Tigers. Uh, Wednesday's game... Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Anderson's home run broke the lead. Uh, broke broke the zero zero tie to give the White Sox the lead, so that was the the situation there. Um. So yeah, there's there's that. I mean, after all all is said and done, uh, White Sox walk away with two games in the suspension for one for their one for their skipper, one for Tim Anderson, and uh, the Royals walk away with five games on on uh, on a suspension for Brad Keller. So. That's going to be a little tough for the Royals there. Uh, obviously, um, I don't think Keller commented on anything from my reports that I've seen so far. Like, Kel- Keller's hasn't said anything. Um, yeah. Oh, actually, uh, there is a, there is a quote. Uh, nope. <laughs> Just a satire Twitter. Uh, which I like. It's great. Uh, MLB, why'd you hit him? Keller, he hit a home run and it hurt my feelings that he did good at the game. MLB, Anderson, why'd you retaliate? Tim, he struck me with an object going 95 miles per hour. MLB, these are equal crimes. Uh, Oh my god. That's great. That's great. That was from local blogger on Twitter. So there's that. Um, But yeah, so that that was the case of uh, of Tim Anderson and uh, and Brad Keller. Uh, I I kind of gave my opinions on this honestly. Uh, Keller overstepped his bounds. I think like in in the situation where pitchers literally get away with murder on the mound and you can't do anything to them because they're like the quarterbacks of the NFL, right? It's like you gotta protect the pitcher. Everything to do is to protect the, protect the pitcher. We want our pitchers making a bunch of money and all this. And we want them to be healthy. We want them to keep pitching forever. Because the more outstanding they pitch, the more the higher ratings we have. But we also want to see home runs. So we want to encourage people to be huge and have a power bat. And that's kind of the way that the the MLB is kind of shaping. Um, so when you do have guys with that emotion and that uh, that 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 ability to when they absolutely hit a moonshot to fire their team up. It's it's tough when you have the old heads say, Oh, that's that's uncalled for but at the same time it's like Well, I mean, yeah, I've said it before, I've said it again. Like pitchers will do the same thing, pitchers have been doing the same thing for years. So I I am pro bat flip and I am pro pitcher celebration, honestly. I, I think it's it's good for the game all around. It fires everybody up and it makes the competition better. I'm very curious to know what your thoughts are on the matter. Um Yeah, that's about it. I want to thank you guys very much for listening today to episode 6 of the New School Baseball Podcast. Of course, my name is Benegi. Uh You have been listening to, again, the New School Baseball Podcast. Uh, if you like, give me a follow on Twitter or Instagram at Iggy772. Get all the updates for whenever we go live uh, or uh, uh, with uh, streaming on the PS4 or whenever uh, I have a new episode of the podcast. out. I'll be definitely on my Twitter and my Instagram as well. Alrighty, you guys have a great day. Take care. Enjoy your Easter weekend. I love you very much. Remember, you can't get dirty if you don't slide. Take care. Bye-bye.